All right, let's now cross to our reporter Ngulego Nyembezi, who is in Gobozana village in Lusikisiki. A very good morning to you, Ngulego. A very sober and a sombering moment. And uh, I guess reality is now striking uh, for the families that, that will be, you know, laying to rest their loved ones. Just take us through where exactly you are and what's happening there. Thank you very much. We are coming live from Gobozane village. This is a, a village or a place where 18 people uh, perished uh, last week uh, when the uh, heavily armed the assailants uh, uh, ambushed these uh, uh, people here. Uh, you remember that uh, these people were still waiting uh, for the, the cleansing ceremony as they were uh, going to make sure to pay respect to the person who passed away uh, uh, last year but what i can tell you right now is very quiet uh, this morning we are still waiting for the bodies to come uh, here and uh, with the, the respect, respective families i think plus minus uh, 14 15 uh, bodies will, will come here just to take the spirit of the dead because uh, according to the beliefs and traditions of africans and uh, and their spirituality they believe that uh, the spirit of the dead uh, need to be taken away from the crime scene so that it doesn't maybe trouble those who are left behind. So we are still waiting uh, uh, those bodies who we believe that they are still at the mortuary right now. But any time from now, they will be uh, converging here, the families uh, and their friends. And uh, the, the last time we checked, the friends and families were really uh, uh, traumatized about what actually happened. And then they are now beginning to realize that uh, uh, the, the, it is real that, uh, that they have lost their loved ones. But I can tell you now that uh, uh, today is going to be the end of their life because we know that they will be buried at, 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 at Guapala and some of them will be buried at uh, Lambasi, while one of them will be buried sometime this week in, 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 the, in East London. But the situation is that the government has decided to make sure that they, they contribute uh, in making sure that uh, uh, these people uh, get uh, what you call a, a respective uh, send off back to your studio let you go you know in a funeral setting you'd expect uh, the homestead to be a hive of activity uh, people moving about and making preparations for the funeral and in some instances you would expect to see a tent but since the entire family has been wiped out uh, like we can't expect anybody to do that isn't it and uh, that's a very uh, somber and a sobering uh, uh, you know state of affairs isn't it Yes, you are correct, Mpiwe. As we are reporting from here, there is this uh, homestead here is locked. The gates are locked. Even the neighbors on the other side, uh, the, the, the gates are locked. There is absolutely no one here. But we are told that uh, this, uh, in fact, this uh, mass uh, funeral will take place at Lambas, uh, just uh, plus minus uh, 40 kilometers away from where we are right now. Then the second uh, uh, funeral will take place uh, 10 kilometers uh, away from where we are at uh, Guapala village. So this village now is just like a ghost village. It's, a ghost, it's like a ghost village because there is absolutely no one moving around. Uh, no one because we, yesterday we just spoke to some of the neighbors. They were saying that uh, no, they, they they are even afraid to come out uh, because of what uh, actually happened two weeks ago or a, a week ago. So the situation is still bad, and uh, they are still trying to make sure that at least they forget what actually happened. But I must tell you that uh, this is terrible this is horrible accident than the first of its kind it is and uh, are you at liberty to perhaps tell us who'll be overseeing uh, the funeral proceedings since the entire family has been wiped out Well, we know that uh, according to the African culture, if the uncles and uh, the, the, the uncles and uh, the aunts uh, maybe from other distant uh, family members will make sure that they stand on behalf of the families that have been totally wiped, mm. wi wiped, wiped away. But uh, in some villages, you know that uh, traditional leaders, they take uh, 
they, they, they take the responsibility to make sure that uh, these families are, are buried in a decent uh, manner because they belong to the traditional leaders if they are if they belong to the traditional settings if they are in the rural areas so traditional leaders will play their role to make sure that they get a decent funeral all right, uh, Ngulego Mnyembezi, I'm going to let you go for now and uh, we'll touch base with you a little later on for more developments. Ngulego Mnyembezi there in Gobozana village in Lusigisigi at one of the homesteads uh, that uh, lost, uh, you know, uh, 16 of its uh, family members.